In the 1960s, this was a home computer. And what you did was you programmed it in binary code. And over here, before we started, you'd have to actually flip these switches to indicate where in your memory that you had RAM, because that's typically where the programs would be entered. And uh, what you would do is, for each instruction, if this was a 1, you would flip this switch up. If this was a 0, you'd flip this switch here down and so on until you had all eight switches set to the binary pattern that you've got here. Once you put that in, then you'd hit the deposit button and then you'd enter the next series of binary codes here and so forth until the entire program was entered. Once it was entered, you'd flip from halt to run mode and your program would run. The input, as I said, was through switches. The output would be flashing LEDs, so it didn't really give you that much information and it wasn't really as intuitive and easy to use as modern day computers.